So here are the red flags that you want to look for to check and see if a student's paper is AI generated through artificial intelligence. Uh, first of all, sentences and paragraphs are going to be grammatically and structurally flawless. Even educated adults have trouble creating uh, sentences and paragraphs quite that perfect. Um, so if there are errors in the sentences and paragraphs, you can be pretty sure that either it's not AI or the student has made significant revisions, so you won't be able to tell if AI was used. The other thing you'll notice is that the vocabulary is sophisticated. Every word is just a perfect choice for what's going on there. And again, even decent adult writers have trouble doing that as well. And lastly, what you might notice is that even though it's really sophisticated and perfect in a lot of ways, you might feel kind of canned to you, like it's not quite addressing what the assignment is asking or that it's overly broad or general. So those are your tips that you want to maybe take the time to investigate if it's AI or not. Once you think it might be AI, your next step is to actually use some of this AI detecting software that's out there. So the three tools that I've been using are GPT-0, which was created by a programmer, um, AI text classifier, classifier, which is actually created by the same people who created the GPT chatbot, and then writer.com, which is supposed to help writers figure out if a search engine is going to flag their work as uh, AI generated. Now, if it seems like only part of your student's submission is AI, like if you're noticing a big shift in tone, these results will be more accurate if you only copy and paste the parts that seem to be generated by AI. And in just a moment, I'll go over how I use these tools, but make sure you are interpreting these results carefully. You do not want to uh, use one of these tools to falsely accuse a student of cheating. Okay, here I am on the first website, GPT-0. Just Google GPT-0 and it'll be one of the first results that comes up. You will need to create a free account to be able to log on and use this. So what you do, and I just already copied the text from a student work that I suspected to be plagiarized. Um, it's a few paragraphs long, and I'm going to click Get Results. And then it tells me, oop, this one is entirely likely to be AI. So that's a pretty definitive result. Okay, I'm going to try another student's work in here and show you what happens. This one I also strongly suspected to be AI. And I clicked on Get Results, and it says part of it may be written by AI. And so I look down here, and it gives me kind of the highlighted part that seems like it might be written by AI. Now, if this was the only evidence I had, I would not at all feel comfortable accusing this student unless I had additional evidence to support the fact that this might be AI, because this could, this is uh, a little bit equivocal. So I would certainly either look for other supporting evidence that the student had written this, or I'm going to try one of those other AI tools to see what they say. Okay, last I'm going to try one more student assignment that I'm pretty sure is not AI. And this tool agrees with me that it's entirely likely to be written by a human, so I would not pursue any more investigation or any kind of uh, academic integrity charges on this student. Okay, this is the AI text classifier site, and this one also requires you to create a free account and get logged on in order to use it. It's actually the same people that made ChatGPT, um, but they have this tool that they're just starting to uh, work on and build that can tell you if something's AI or not. Again, you need to take it with a grain of salt. It is still uh, a work in progress, but what, what they'll do is you'll enter your text here, and it'll tell you... Uh, rated as very unlikely, unlikely, unclear, possibly, or likely. Um, so if you're returning something that's possibly or likely, then I would certainly uh, think that that's strong evidence uh, to look at as far as whether your student is using AI to write their stuff. Okay, the last site I'm on here comes from writer.com and it's an AI content detector. And what it does is it allows you to paste a small amount of text up to only 1500 characters. So that's not very much, uh, just a couple of paragraphs or so. And then what they're doing is they're saying, is Google going to flag this as AI? So again, it's not perfect, but it's telling you if Google is going to flag it as AI or not. And they'll give you a percentage score. So if it's scoring a very low percentage of being uh, human written, then again, you have even more evidence that perhaps your student has turned in an AI paper. 
Okay, so if you're pretty sure your student has used AI to generate their essay, um, here's what I recommend if you strongly suspect but you're not 100% sure. Any student that just wrote this essay should be able to explain to you um, what the words mean, what the concepts mean, what they were thinking when they wrote it. Um, and you can also ask them to show you their writing process. Be like, hey, how'd you get the idea for this? Show me what sources you found. Where did you find these sources? Um, how did you put it together? What gave you this idea? And things like that. But in the end, if you're not confident something is AI generated, don't risk a false accusation with a student. It is better to miss someone's AI than it is to falsely accuse someone of AI and to have them have severe repercussions for it. In the end, I think the best way to deal with AI is to create assignments that make it so it's kind of harder to use AI than it is to actually write the essay. So let me explain what I mean. Um, if you're asking students to apply like their course knowledge to a new situation, it's going to be a lot harder to get the AI chatbot to do that for them. Um, and so the assignments, even you know, even if they're not getting caught for the AI, the assignments that are going to come out are going to be poor in general. And so, you know, for the poor grades, will kind of take care of the fact that they're not really learning or writing. Um, another thing you can ask them to do is to relate course materials to their personal opinions and experience. That's a lot harder to fake, not impossible, but very difficult. And another thing you can do is to incorporate ways in which they show their writing process to you during the class, whether that's in person or in formal written reflections or by having the assignment due in steps and chunks or whatever. Um, things that you should avoid asking your students to write would be to tell them to summarize something, to ask them to give a definition of something, or to assign some sort of very broad or general analysis with open-ended topic choice because those are very easy to um, generate an AI that actually fulfills those assignment goals. Um, so I recommend not using them. Uh, and just lastly, remember that your purpose on this earth as an educator is not to play the cheat police. Try not to let it consume too much of your headspace. You are not going to be able to catch every cheater in your class and that is okay.